Hey everyone, welcome back to Teaching Baseball Card Breaks. This is your friend Jake, and I'm coming at you with a 2020 Donner's Mega Box break. Today we're going to be breaking two Donner's Mega Boxes. I picked these up on Target.com for about $40. So this is another potential for a good budget break for those of you like me that want to break cards and open boxes and not break the bank. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at these two boxes. And we see right away that we get um, some retro 1986 style uh, pink firework parallels. There's also the emoji parallels that we can pick up in Donner's 2020. Um, we'll be on the lookout for some hot rated rookies, some diamond kings, and then other cards that are styled in the 1986 Donner's style. So as you can see, we get 112 cards per box. The math breaks down to 14 packs, eight boxes per pack. And we're gonna see what we get. Uh, remember, this is just a kind of a budget break here. I'm not trying to do anything super high end or very expensive. Just trying to you know, break some boxes and see what we find. So um, hopefully the first thing you notice is that I kind of upped my production setup here. No more big pull from the Fisher Price T-Ball set I use as my can, uh, my phone stand in my first two videos I actually picked up a cheap little tripod just to get that out of the way and I also use this old Cleveland Indians beach towel as my break mat so looking forward to that and seeing those in future videos uh, so without any hesitation here let's go ahead get this bad boy open even in, in, even invest in a nice little box cutter to get it open here so I'm gonna set the second box aside and we're taking a look at some Donners today. Ooh, I like that sleeve there. And inside, we see our nice green packs. Do like the color of these, though it's not super important or anything, but I do like it nonetheless. So before we get started here, I do want to thank any and all people here tonight that have watched my previous two videos. If you haven't, um, Obviously, I would love it if you could give those a view for me. Um, drop a like if you enjoyed them. First video was a break of a couple 19 boxes and even a 2018 box. And then my second video was doing what I call the three-pack face-off, or about three packs of three different sets. And we just kind of looked at what I liked and pulled, pulled out the five best cards that I liked, not even looking at value just to see what we had. So if you're looking to enjoy my channel, if you like this video, check out those other two and drop a like if you like them. So obviously Donner's is a Panini product and it is unlicensed, so we're not gonna see any logos or team names, but we will see the players that we love, some of the players that we don't like, um, and just go from there. So let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. I'm gonna do a pack at a time here. So like I said, we have those 1986 style Designs we're going to be looking for, as well as some rated rookies and um, Diamond Kings for each team. So right off the bat, we get a Justin Verlander, Garrett Cole, $300 million man, now with, now in his Yankees uniform, former uh, one-two punch for the Astros rotation. We got Matt Carpenter. We've got a our first Diamond King, and we've got Austin Meadows with Tampa Bay. Nice breakout year he had last year. Coming from this guy's team. Josh Bell with the Pirates. You know, Austin Meadows was one of those big pieces that came over in the Chris Archer trade. So, unfortunately, that did not work out too well for the Pirates. And we've got, well, drop the cards there, but it's okay. It didn't, didn't take any damage. We got Garrett Mitchell, American Pride, Team USA. That's a nice looking, that's a nice purple holographic card there. And we've got a retro 1986 style pink parallel of Adbert Alzale, and that is going to be, there's the back of these. I do believe that might be a variation. And we got Tyrone Taylor with his 1986 style. Yeah, and as we can see, this right here, that's the indication on a base card, and if we look at the Alzale again, we see that it is the black, the black is the parallel, the white, or no color there is the base card. 
So I'll set that there. And then down here, this right here, the Josh Bell, I just looked at it when I noticed it when I saw it. We have a variation of here. We see that Steel City instead of Pittsburgh, uh, and then the old school Donruss logo. So we'll be on the lookout for some of those as well. Um, I don't have, I have a list of variations over here to my right, but I'm not going to stop and look at that with every every card we look at. So we'll just kind of look and see at the back to see if we got anything different. So moving on, pack number two. Hope everyone's doing all right here on this Saturday. Um, today, As of today, we have a potential plan going from MLB to the, to the Players Association, trying to get baseball back in July. They're trying to get started around the middle of July, be back to a short spring training by June, playing about 80 games, and then with a seven-team per league postseason. So at least they're talking, at least they're getting something planned going forward. We got Luis Severino, Nomar Mazzara, Eduardo Escobar with the Diamondbacks. We've got our first rated rookie, and that's going to be Brock Burke with the Rangers. We got a Buster Posey, Diamond Kings. We've got a Jose Altuve insert, as seen on TV, right there in a nice little insert card. We've got Fernando Tatis Jr. in our pink 1980, in a, sorry, our pink fireworks parallel. And that's got a little bit of the refractor hollow in there. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this guy up. And we got Adbert Alzale in our 1986 style. That's going to be the base card. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my sleeves right here, just off to the side. And I'm going to leave that Tatis on as soon as I can get this open. I'm going to sleeve up that Tatis, put her in there, and we'll leave that guy right there. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., for those of you who don't know, his dad was well-known for hitting two grand slams in the same inning. Uh, pretty spectacular feat that you know, I don't even know if it will ever be done again. So moving on to pack number three, I'd say that Tatis is the best card we've pulled so far. Uh, I'm liking these. Um, I'm more of a Topps fan, as most of you are probably as well, uh, just from having, you know, licensed uniforms and all that and actually have the team name on there. And if we can get this pack out, there we go. Um, but I do like the design on these. I do like the 1986 design as well. So Aaron Nola is going to lead off pack number three. Cody Bellinger, that's his base card. Take a look at the back there. And again, we see the new Donner's design in Los Angeles. We got Brandon Lau, uh, runner-up or third place for AL Rookie of the Year last year. That was a nice, good season for him. We got a Raider Rookie, Mauricio Dubon from the Giants. We got a Diamond King of Goldie, Paul Goldschmidt with the Cardinals. We've got Casey Mize, Rated Rookie, Pink. Firework parallel right there. Nice rated prospect for the Tigers. He's going to be a future of their rotation. Um, that's a nice one right there. I'm going to sleeve that up in a second. We've got Ramon Lariano, one of the key rookies from last year. Had a good year with the Athletics. That awesome arm out in center field. And we finish up this pack with a Michael King from the Mets. And again, that's going to be his base card. So I'm going to pull a sleeve. I'm going to sleeve up this Casey Mize. Not entirely sure. Didn't look into what the eBay value on some of these cards are, but I will look that up after. Feel free to let me know if we pull anything worth a lot down in the comments. Uh, looking on pack number four. And I hope you don't mind. I try, I try to... Talk some baseball as we go through. Um, I don't really know what to say if I'm not looking at cards. Um, I don't know if, you know, introduce you know, I introduced myself in the first video, but I don't know if I need to do that every time, especially my first couple. But um, I'll get better at this as we go. This is my third video. So we got Max Kepler. He destroys the Indians, especially Trevor Bauer when he was with the Indians. Hit five straight home runs off of him. Um but good player there, German-born. I don't even know if it'll be listed here. Oh, yeah, there we go. 42 players born in Germany. Excellent. And we got Charlie Morton. Kind of a resurgence to his career. 
after he pitched with Houston and then moved on to Tampa Bay. We've got Blake Snell, uh, my f my people that play MLB The Show. Uh, there's a 95 overall version of Blake Snell you can earn by completing the Player League program on the show. I did that last night. It was a heck of a grind, but got him got him on the squad and going to give him a try here later today. We got Travis Dem I can never pronounce his name correctly. Is it Demerit or Demriti? I don't know. But anyway, rookie card there for the Tigers. That's our 1986 version. And this is actually a variation. So that's one of his photo variations right there. We've got Yoshitomo Sugoto. Again, I probably butchered that, and I am sorry. But rated rookie for Tampa Bay. This is one of the last cards in the series. We see right there, that's 263. This is only a 262 card set, but Sutsugo and Luis Robert make up cards 263 and 264 in this set. We've got Cade Cavalli, American Pride, with the pink firework hollow there. It's a nice, I do like that holographic design there. We got Jonathan Hernandez, pitcher with the Rangers, rookie. That's his base. And then we got Burt Bly 11, nice curveball guy. Hall of Famer with the Twins. That's his base. So that's a nice one. Moving on to pack number five. And again, I, you know, I'm trying to figure out my volume on these. Trying to figure out if I'm saying too much, too little. Uh, any constructive comments you can leave to kind of tell me how I can do better here. I've already tried to up my production by you know getting a tripod here. But any comments that you can leave to help me out, you know, but what you've seen for other people and all that, any ideas you want me to do for future budget breaks, whatever, uh, leave it in the comment down below. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy this video. We got Trevor Bauer, midseason trade to the t Reds last year from the Indians. We got Nelson Cruz, boomstick. Been going for a while here, but still got a lot of power. We got Chris Bryant, and we're going to take a look at this. He has a variation. That is his base card. You, Jordan Yamamoto, rated rookie with Miami. We got Lucas Giolito. He also got a nice card yesterday in the show, his Diamond Kings for the White Sox. We've got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. as seen on TV. Pink firework parallel right there. I'm going to sleeve that up in a second. We got Justin Turner, another pink parallel refractor there. And we end with Jim Rice, Hall of Famer from the Red Sox. So go and grab a sleeve here for this Vlad. Yeah, I've said it in my first two videos when we pulled him. You know, after as touted as he was last year, um, kind of a disappointing year. Um, not to say he had a bad year or anything, but just, you know, other than the home run derby, you know, did he really have a spectacular year? I think not. Uh, I think he can be a consistent all-star for the Blue Jays, especially with that young core that they've got. Um, but just with people going crazy over him, and obviously it's deserved, um, I just don't think he had as great of a season as he probably should have. Jacob DeGrom, two-time Cy Young winner for the Mets. That's his base card. He has a variation that's going to say it says the degrominator at the bottom we got Shohei Otani the Japanese Babe Ruth we got Mike Yastrzemski um if you ever want to test someone's baseball knowledge that's not really stat or anything ask them to spell Yastrzemski if they can spell it right you got a good one there if not educate them we got Paul Goldschmidt and that's going to be his variation let's see this is going to be a photo variation we see that he's got the old school Donruss logo there, and that's going to be a photo variation. We got Bo Bichette, rated rookie. That is a nice one. Bo flows his Twitch handle. Uh, he did. He also got a nice overall card in the show. I'm a big the show fan. I grind when I'm not teaching, especially during the summer. Um, so I make a lot of references to the show because I enjoy it, and I know a lot of people do as well. Uh, Bo Bichette's a good one. I'm going to sleeve him up just because he is. One of the big hot shot up and coming players here. I'm actually going to step away from a sec for a second and turn the light on.
noticed it was a little dark, so hopefully that's a little bit better. Our next firework parallel is going to be of Max Scherzer. And I, I absolutely love these firework refractors here, the pink fireworks. So I'm going to leave that guy up too. And, you know, it's his Dominator's card. You know, like I said in my first video, um, I've had cards I've enjoyed opening and, you know, just having and going through and seeing what I've got for most of my life. But just recently started to get back into, into the actual collecting piece and actually knowing what stuff's worth and all that. So I'm trying to learn as we go. Um, but I've always struggled, like, is this just a rainbow foil or is this a refractor or what is that? Because I've seen it called both things and obviously it leaves the rainbow, but you know, not important. Um, just talking here. Jonathan D Daza, I was going to call him Diaz, rookie card for the Rockies. That's a base card. So moving on to pack number seven. And I want to thank you all, anybody who is watching this video it means a lot to me i'm just starting this adventure of youtube um just something one day i decided to just record myself opening some cards and talking about them and send it to my friend who also collects i said dude you've got some skill here i don't know if he's just being a good friend or what but i like to think i'm pretty knowledgeable of baseball itself and getting more knowledgeable about the actual collecting aspect of it so we got Tyler Glass now. We mentioned Austin Meadows in our first pack. He was the other big piece that came out of the Chris Archer trade, Pirates and Rays. He had a nice breakout year last year, so that's a good one. Justin Turner, nice beard. Whit Merrifield. We got Diamond Kings of Vlad Jr. And we've got our first parallel. This is going to be... Oh, it's almost got like a vintage stock there. It's not the glossy material as the front but this is the star parallel and i'm looking at my notes here and that's not numbered but it's just a nice parallel of glaber torres i'm gonna sleeve glaber up here in a second as well so this is a career stat line trevor story fastest shortstop to 100 homers and this should be numbered if i saw correctly on Cardboard connection. I was looking this up before the video, but I do not see a number there. But it's not, so I was probably mistaken. That's something I'm bound to do as I'm figuring this stuff out, making mistakes on card stuff and all that. But I'm going to sleeve that up with the um, Glaber as well. There we see our pink parallel of Tyler Glass now. Take a look at the back here again. See, he had a pretty good year in 2019. Um, nothing crazy, 6-1, and one, but that ERA, 178. Um, you know, wins and losses, not so much a stat people look at anymore to determine if a pitcher's good or not. But, uh, you know, 6-1 and one helped Tampa Bay down big time there with his 76-14 to 14 strikeout to walk ratio. So that's a good year. And we end up with George Brett, the Royals, Mr. Royal there. Um, so let me grab a couple sleeves here off to the left for this Trevor Story firework. And I'll probably go back in and put all these firework, pink, pink firework parallels in a sleeve after the fact. But uh, some of them I already missed. Um, let me know, this, like I said, this Glaber, it feels like, it's got like the vintage stock back, but I don't, I didn't see anything about those on Cardboard Connection while I was looking it up. So let me know if that is something special there. Okay, moving on, we've got one, two, three, can't count. Seven, seven packs left. We're, we're running about the 20 minute mark. Uh, so this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. I'll try to speed it around. Oh, on the back right away, I see a Nolan Ryan. Uh, the Express, so we'll see what we got there. We got the Bringer of Rain, Josh Donaldson with Atlanta. He's now with the Twins, which does not make me happy as an Indians fan. We got Aaron Judge. This might be his variation. It is not. It's just his base card. He has a photo variation uh, with the old school 
Don uh, logo there. Aaron Judge, one of the big time young players in the game. We got JD Martinez. We have Gigante. I assume that means maybe giant. I don't speak a word of Spanish, so if I totally made myself sound ignorant there, it is what it is. But Gigante, that's a variation for Jose Altuve. We'll set that down. And we got our first Baby Shark parallel. This one is Aristides Aquino. Not numbered, but I do like that parallel either way. We got an Aaron Judge Dominators pink firework hollow. That is a nice looking card. Take a look at the back of these. Not numbered or anything, but still it's something that is pretty cool. So I'm going to sleeve that guy up as well. And we'll get, gotta get some more out of my little box here. We'll get the Aquino and, and we're not going to sleeve the Jose up right now. But might go back and do that after the fact. I'm not going to sleeve up this. Actually, I will. Never mind. Don't want to get angry comments saying, why don't you sleeve up the Vlad Jr.? So we'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Um, if I miss something, leave it in the comments. Tell me, hey, you better sleeve that up. We got a Jorge Soler, Diamond Kings with the Royals. Finally had his huge season. That power is pretty unbelievable. And for it to be in Kansas City, that's pretty nice. And our Nolan Ryan 86 style right there. Okay, moving on. Trying to speed this up a little bit. And I might just go ahead and break and open all these packs and we'll just thumb through as we go, you know. Some people call that a super break, whatever. Um, I like that term, so that's what I'm going to call it. We'll do a super break. I'll just set these down. And I'm still trying, I'm trying to work around my tripod here. And I'm still getting used to it. I did a couple, you know, took some stacks of cards that I'm sorting through on my dining room table. Just, you know, thumbed through them, but I haven't opened anything in front of this until just now. So still trying to figure it out. Um, but, you know, you know, being a teacher, I'm all about, you know, learning on the fly. You know, you, sometimes you got to do things to learn. Um, you know, so I like to tell my, tell my kids, you know, you know, sometimes the best way to be able to do something is by actually doing it. And that's kind of what I'm, you know, figuring out here with this whole YouTube thing. Um, you can't say it enough. Anyone who has watched any of my videos so far, uh, I greatly appreciate it. you know just getting started. That's what it takes. So thank you to anyone who has watched either of the first two videos before this or if you're watching this one right here, you know, that's what keeps YouTubers going. Not that I really consider myself a YouTuber at this point, but that's what it's all about. Yadier Molina, this is not, that's his base card. I was saying that was his variation. There's Paul Goldschmidt. And I'm gonna set half of these off camera to Pull them up later. We've got Kyle Schwarber, Schwarbaum. We got a Nick Solak, rated rookie with the Rangers. We got a Eugenio Suarez, Diamond Kings with the Red, with the Reds. Sorry. Uh, we've got Ronald Acuna Jr., youngest with 40 home run. Figure out, trying to get that to zoom or focus there. 40 homer, 30 steal year. That's going to be Ronald Acuna Jr. with the pink firework hollow parallel there. Going to sleeve that up. Obviously, Acuna, one of the best players in the game, young or old. It's also the 86 style. So that's a nice looking card. But you get one of his, you got to sleeve it up. We got Alberto Mondesi. Get it focused there. Good. Alberto Mondesi, Jake Fraley, rookie card in his 1986 style. We got Max Muncy. We've got Elvis Andrews. We got Juan Soto. Not a variation. That's the base card. That's a nice young guy. 
I'll sleeve that up just because he is one of the top up and coming players in the league. And I know sleeving slows things down here, but I'd rather pro I'd rather protect the really good ones here. We got a Vlad Guerrero. I'm gonna sleeve him in a second. We got Tony Gonsolin, pitcher with or rated rookie with the Dodgers. And I'm trying to get everything focused here. So let's hope we can get that going. Alex Bregman, elite series, Houston third baseman. I'm gonna sleeve him up with that Vlad. I'm just gonna put a sleeve pile here. Uh, Jordan Hicks, Don Maddenly, Donnie Baseball. His 1986 style, Rodas Chapman, Kyle Hendricks. We got Starling Marte now with the, sorry, Diamondbacks. Had a brain lapse there. Tony Anthony Gwynn, that's going to be his parallel. We see the old school thing there. It's actually Tony Gwynn's birthday. Would have been 60 years old had he not passed away if he was still alive today. And we've got on the back, and we've got an autograph. We've got Taylor Clark, pitcher for the Diamondbacks there. You see there's his autograph, 1986 style Donruss. Not numbered, but a good one nonetheless. So that's the first half of that mega, that, sorry, super break we're doing there. So I'm going to finish off the second half. we got the American Pride, Chris McMahon. Uh, Pink Hollow Refractor, Tyler, Tyrone Taylor, Barry Larkin, 86, Chris Sale, Hunter Dozier. We got Trevor Story. You know, he had that amazing year a couple years ago coming up as a rookie. We got a Lance Lynn, Rangers Diamond King. We got Vlad Guerrero Jr. with the star parallel. We got Brendan McKay, the rookies, Tampa Bay, fireworks parallel. I'll set that one down. Sean Murphy with the A's. Daryl Strawberry, 86. We got a Mike Trout. Gotta love it. Mike Trout every time. Gonna put that in the sleeve pile. Don't know if it's really worth anything, but Mike Trout, you gotta do it. Mike Soroka had a good breakout year. Thor, Noah Syndergaard. We got Yelich. This is his nickname variation. Obviously, front runner for the MVP past two years. If wouldn't have gotten hurt last year, I think he would have won it again. We got Sam Hilliard, rated rookie for the Rockies. We got Aristides Aquino, fireworks parallel, 86. And we have highlights. And I've got to, I've got to get my thing auto-focused. But it says long balls in three consecutive innings. I like that. I've got to get my thing focused here. Steven Strasburg, sorry for the delay there. Uh, Willie Castro, rookie card with the Tigers. Christian Yelich, his base card. Nick Senzel. Rafael Devers, nice young guy there. Diamond Kings, Juan Soto. We got Alex Bregman, that's his name variation. We got now playing, these are rookies, Pete Alonzo in the pink fireworks parallel there. Going to set that down. Glaber Torres, set that down in the in the sleeve pile and rounding off this mega box with Lewis Thorpe with the twins rookie card. So I'm going to just gently, I'll sleeve these up after the fact, move these very gently because we're already 28 minutes into this video and we got a whole nother box to go. Um, figuring out my timing here. So thank you for bearing with me as we go, but there's my sleeve pile for that break right there. Box number two. Nice and smooth there. I think the box cutter was the smart move there. And we'll go ahead. I think we'll do seven packs and seven packs in Super Break style. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do seven and seven and move on from there. So, um, I, I say so a lot. I don't know if that's something I do when I teach. I've never had kids say that. But I feel like I say so a lot. And it's kind of what I do when I'm trying to fill the air here. Um, so, there we go again. Just uh, bear with me as we go through this. I'm 
Still nervous recording myself like this. This is some, not something I'm particularly used to. But uh, I'm enjoying it so far. It's been nice getting into some boxes here and doing something other than just opening them for my collection and not doing anything with it. Um, I do watch a couple breaking channels on YouTube. Uh, I'm not trying to hit that level of opening, you know, a couple thousand dollar breaks and all that. But, you know, just doing something for the hobby just because I enjoy it. And I figure why, why not share it with others that might enjoy it as well. Um, that's kind of what I found this community is all about. It's just kind of, you know, you break out of the enjoyment of the hobby. And that's kind of where I'm coming from here. So got those seven. Let's see what we get. I got half the stack here. Jacob DeGrom. There is Shohei Otani. We got Blake Snell. We've got Jordan Yamamoto again. We've got a star parallel, again, with that vintage back of Brandon Woodruff. We got Casey Mize uh, refractor there. We'll set that one to be sleeved. Ozzy Albee's a good young second baseman for the Braves. Michael King, rookie with the Mets. Yankees or Mets? I wish they would make it clear here. I'm not entirely sure. We got Tyler Glass now, Justin Turner, Chris Bryant, Lucas Giolito, Diamond Kings, Paul Goldschmidt. We've got an American Pride, Cade Cavalli again. I do believe that's our second one of him. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., this one with the rainbow, like that. Set that to be sleeved. Burt Bly, 11. Steven Strasburg, Jordan Hicks, Mike Yastrzemski, Bo Bichette, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Vlad Guerrero Jr. again. So... Looks like we're seeing a lot of these same cards again. Don't know if that's a common thing in Donner's products. Never really opened any of the new stuff. Got a lot of junk wax that I inherited from family and um, all that. But haven't opened a whole lot of the new stuff. But Merrifield, Jim Rice, Hall of Famer, we've seen that card before. We got Fernando Tatis Jr. I'll set that aside. David Dahl and Whit Merrifield again, his base. Okay, the back half of this break, and oh, sorry, back half of this super break. Anthony Rizzo, we've got Elite Series, nice ref refractor or whatever of Justin Verlander. We've got Max Scherzer, his Dominator's cards, the second one we've gotten of him. We got Abraham Toro of Houston, Jonathan Diaz, Daza, sorry, didn't do it earlier, did it this time. You Darvish. Anthony Rendon, Christian Vasquez, Zach Gallon with the Diamondbacks, rated rookie. He's a nice one. I'll set him aside. Fernando Tatis, Diamond King. I'll set that aside. This is Trevor Story again with the Firework Parallel. We're seeing a lot of duplicates here. Corey Seager, George Brett again. Like I said, not super familiar with, with breaking new Donner's products. Um, oh, got an upside down card there. Let's see what that is. Alex Bregman, that's his base card. We've got... Luis Castillo, Sandy Alcantara. We got Kirby Puckett, Hall of Fame. That's going to be a variation. It is. And this one's upside down, so let's see what we got. Let's see if they tease us. It is not. It is an autograph of Darwinson, Darwinson Hernandez, pitcher with the Red Sox. Nice short little signature there. Don't see how exactly it says... Darwin's and Hernandez, but we'll take it. That's our second autograph. We got Nick Frasso, American Pride, with that refractor there. We got Bo Bichette, nice one. Obviously, his dad, Dante Bichette, big, big time player in the uh, what, late 80s into the 90s. Joe Palumbo, it's going to be a rookie card. Buster Posey, Willie Calhoun was the piece in the U Darvish. Rangers to Dodgers trade. Uh, Carlos Santana, El Mago, Javier Baez. That's his name variant. We'll set that down. That's a nice one. Kyle Lewis, rated rookie. We've got a Javier Baez Elite Series. Rain, pink firework refractor there. It's a nice one. Frankie Lindor, one of my favorite players. The Indians need to re-sign him. Don't let him get away. 
And I finish off with an Edwin Rios rookie card for the Dodgers. So I'm going to take my little sleeve pile here, and we're going to move that over to the other one. I'll get these all sleeved up later. Look at some value of these as well. So our last seven packs of the break, I want to thank you all again. I know I've said it a lot, but, you know, truly thank you to anyone who is watching this video or has watched any of my other stuff. You're going to hear me say it over and over again because I am very appreciative of anyone who has watched my videos so far. Um, but we've got seven packs left here. We pulled two autographs. We pulled some good, young, first couple year players. And we pulled some duplicates of some things. But it's all good. And I'll do half of this super break here, and then we'll do the second half. Okay, so there we are. There are seven packs. I'm going to kind of cut the deck there, take half of it, and go from there. So we're going to start off with Donnie Baseball. Don Manley has 86 design. Um, obviously, you know, being 26 wasn't around for Donnie Baseball's career. But looking at it, he's borderline Hall of Famer. I could make an argument either way for him. Cody Bellinger, I know his apparently his peak was good, but it was short. Noah Syndergaard, Juan Soto, Diamond King, Alex Bregman. Uh, we've got a Brendan McKay. We've seen this card already. we got Jalen Davis with the Giants. That's a rookie card. Daryl Strawberry, 86. Max Kepler, Charlie Morton, Raphael Devers. Could put Devers into a sleeve pile. Don't know exactly what he's going for, but he's a good young player and a big market team, so probably worth something. We got Mauricio Dubon. Sorry, I didn't say his name. Goldschmidt. Arcees Aquino with the firework like that. Kevin Biggio. His dad, Craig Biggio, obviously Hall of Famer. That's the, that's the wild thing about the Blue Jays is they've got Boba Shett, uh Kevin Biggio, and Vlad Guerrero Jr., three, um, three up and coming, you know, stars, young players of former big of sons of former big league players. So that's pretty interesting. Willie Castro, rookie with Detroit. Trevor Bauer, Nelson Cruz. We got Brandon Lau again. We've got Travis from Detroit. Can't say his name. Can never. Get that out correctly, just because I don't know how. Yoshitomo Tsugutsu, or Tsugo. Again, I'm sorry, I don't know everybody's name. We've got Pete Alonzo again with that. That's a nice looking one. And again, my camera is out of focus here, so if I pull it too close. But that's a nice one, the polar bear. We've got Anthony Rizzo, and we've got Lewis Thorpe, the rookie pitcher for the Twins there. Now our final half of this Super Break, we got Trey Turner. That's his base. He has a variation. Charlie Blackman, Chuck Nasty, Sonny Gray, Shane Bieber. I love this kid. Um, I think he's going to be a pretty good pitcher for the Indians. That's one thing the Indians have been able to do well of late, and that's develop young, talented starting pitching. We got a Jake Fraley rookie card star parallel with the Mariners. Nice looking. I'll set that aside just because it's a parallel. We got Jordan Alvarez, the rookies, with the pink fireworks. That's definitely getting sleeved up. We got Paul Goldschmidt again. That's his variation there. You can see that. We got Kevin Mitchell, Chris Sale, Hunter Dozier, Starling Marte, Anthony, Tony Gwynn. Again, happy birthday to that legend. Reading some of his stats from his career, how he Struck out three times in his whole career against Atlanta's big three of Smoltz, Glavin, and Maddox. Guy was incredible. He's he's the top player, uh, you know, starting nine, the podcast with um, Dallas Braden and um, – can't think of his name. Um, Dallas Braden and Jared Carabas. They always talk about if you could take – they asked their guest, if you could take a hot tub time machine back to any baseball moment – I wouldn't just pick a moment. I'd go back and watch Tony Gwynn play because I was not, uh, I was very young when he retired. Vlad Guerrero Jr., that's going to be a variation. 
So even better. We got a nice rookie and we got a variation of him. Ronald Cooney Jr., we've seen that card before. We've got Lorenzo Kane, Jake Fraley again, Mike Trout. Always, that's my rule. You come across a Mike Trout, you put it in the sleeve pile. We got Mike Soroka. Juan Soto, that's a good one. We got Tony Gonsolin, rated rookie with the Dodgers. We've got Lance Lynn, Di Rangers Diamond King. We've got Chris McMahon again, American Pride. We've got Zach Gallen, rated rookie with the Rainbow. Barry Larkin. Christian Yelich, Nick Senzel, Trevor Story, Yelich Variation, Sam Hilliard, Alex Bregman, Elite Series with the Pink Firework, and we round out with Christian Vasquez of the Red Sox with the Rainbow. So that wraps it up right there. Again, we're just going to quickly thumb through our sleeve pile, and there's other things that could be sleeved that I kind of skipped over, didn't put it in. But after looking back through the stack, I'll probably go ahead and put them in. But I got some good guys here. We got some Acunas, we got some Vlads, we got a Jordan Alvarez, Aristides Aquino. Uh, I do, like I said, I love these firework parallels. Bo Bichette, Trevor Story, Fernando Tatis, Gallen, Scherzer, Verlander, Tatis again, Vlad, you know. You've seen this. There's our autograph of Darwin's and Hernandez. There's our second autograph of Taylor Clark. So two autographs out of, you know, each one from each mega box here. So not bad for a $40 box, $80 break total. Um, you know, this is what it's all about. When you're doing a budget break, you hope to find something good like this in whatever you pull. So uh, remember, I appreciate everyone who's watching or has watched. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and leave me a like. You know, leave a comment, something you think I could do differently, something that you enjoyed. Um, if, you, if I missed something really good and you think that I need to know about it, please let me know. Uh, and until next time, this has been Jake with Teaching Baseball Card Breaks. Peace and take it easy.